Welcome to Extravagant Fragrances. Today's talk is about drugs for oils. And um, there's a lot of guys that get to contact me uh, about trying to start a business. And um, there are a lot of guys out there, I would say that are un underprivileged, that they, the only uh, opportunities they see uh, in front of them is to, is to turn to drugs uh, and sell drugs. And most of the reason why is because it's so easily accessible for them and the profit margins are extremely high but the thing is with that is it's so risky you're one you're always looking behind your back you always have to carry a, a gun on you um, <clears throat> you know you, you you can't really trust anyone uh, you always have to worry about the police coming after you and um, and I'm here to say that in the fragrance business there there are uh, it's a very similar in terms of profit margins when it comes down to selling these fragrances uh, because look let's face it you can when you're selling drugs you only have let, let's say two or three different types of drugs I guess you know I never sold drugs before so I don't know but there's there's only so many drugs out on the market that, that on, on, the, on the streets that people sell and um, uh, now with the fragrance business you could carry 100, 200, 300 different fragrances and have your customer hooked on these fragrances and they will keep coming back to you over and over and over again. You can have distributors, you can have people selling for you, you know. The same people that you, you know, um, and I don't, maybe not all the same people, maybe you want to kind of try to stay away from some of those same people and get away from the bad uh, company, but if they're decent people that you know, um, get them hooked on your on your product get them hooked on the fragrances those roll-ons those little uh roll-ons those things move and we're talking you know it's just a few cents you know um i personally sell them for a lot for 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 a dollar and some change and uh, uh market values you know six to eight dollars on up depending on which um which fragrances you're carrying what name types you have uh so this is just you know a piece of advice uh, that you don't have to turn to selling drugs. There's other things out there if you want to make fast cash, uh, if you want to make a lot of money in a short amount of time, you can do it legally. There's no rule in the book that says you have to do it illegally in order to make a lot of money. That's, that's simply not true. And this is why, you know, uh, like the hip hop industry, for instance, you know, a lot of the like gangster rappers and whatnot, they're always trying to. Uh, kind of fool you and trick you into thinking that that's the way to come up. That's not the way to come up. That's the way to land your butt in prison real fast or, or, or have you end up six feet deep under the ground really quick. Um, so stop taking these kind of risks, you know. If you, if you feel this urge or this adrenaline rush that you really just got to take a risk, then take a risk and go and invest in some uh, in the fragrance business and, um, you know, uh, Put, throw your money at that and get it going. I personally know people um, that used to be in the drugs, uh, that used to sell drugs, and now they're they're selling in the in the oils business. They're selling the incense. They're selling the body oils, and 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 I'm talking street vendors. They're making three to six hundred dollars a day. Uh, now, if I do the math properly, that's eighteen grand a month. That's not going to land you in prison. You know, you don't have to worry about looking behind your back, worrying who's coming after you, who you can trust, who you can't trust. If anything, you're going to make more friends than enemies. Uh, so this is something to think about as an alternative to, to, the, to the young guys out there that think that all, the only thing that there is for them to do to become successful financially is to sell drugs. That's simply not true. There's a lot of people. I, I know there are multi-millionaires who started off as street vendors um, who, who are in the oils business and they're still running the business after 30 years. They're still in this business and they're still alive. Um, so. Click the links below, uh, check me out, give me a call. I can show you how to start this business. I have previous videos showing you how to start in the fragrance business uh, and tips and tricks of the trade. So connect with me, uh, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.